hello there Eva from Eva soap basket I was just getting ready to mix some of my lye solution so I already have my lye measured out it's a little chunky because we have a lot of humidity here and it seems like even though I keep it in the garage and it's dry and it's in a sealed container it still gets a little chunky sometimes so I always give it a little break it up a little but this is what my half water half kombucha tea liquid looks like that I like to use in the majority of my soap recipes so I thought I'd show you what it looks like um, and what it looks like when I add the powder to it now I do have a fan going I always use a fan always make sure when you mix lye solution that you have a well ventilated area and a fan helps if you don't have a good breeze natural breeze going to blow the fumes away from you because it does make fumes so I'll go ahead and do this and you can see how dark it looks now you can freeze your kombucha solution or your water whatever you're using I put mine in the fridge so it is very chilled sometimes I'll put it in the freezer a few minutes um, but the majority of the time this is fine and as soon as I finish mixing it I put it in a water bath I always keep a bat batch of water that I have handy when I'm soaping so that it's it's water it's white vinegar and a little soap added it makes it easy for cleanup for rinsing my utensils as I'm done with them um, so anyway it's clean when I start my soap batch so I just set this container in there as soon as I have my lye powder mixed in so you can see what it looks like right now that's what it does it'll get as it cools off a little bit it'll get a little film on top you just stir it in if I'm ever not 100% sure or if, even if I'm only 90% sure that it's all dissolves like if this lye was more chunky and I was afraid some of it didn't dissolve I just dump it through a sieve when I add it to my batter so anyway I thought I'd show you it's just a little short and that's what it looks like now and I found that this is one of my soap bars that I make pretty regularly now my Chanel number no. five that I use a bulk apothecary fragrance for which is wonderful by the way if you've never tried it behaves perfectly but you can see it's not perfectly white I add white kale and clay to my oils and then rose clay to part of the batter so and you can see it's fairly pale it's not perfectly white um, but it is off-white it is still a little beige so that's what it looks like with my half and half solution that I use by the time it cures a little so in case you're curious that's what it does to your soaps I like using kombucha because it adds lather uh, naturally that helps boost lather so I like it in my shampoo bars and I use it in the majority of my bars except the ones that I really want a white design and then I'll use all water alright thanks for watching have a great day. Bye.